Hi, my name is Siobhan Reno, and I'm with the program on the environment, and today I'm going to discuss the need for connecting scientists and stakeholders through climate communication. This topic of research is important because as climate change accelerates, informing communities of potential impacts is vital to guide their decision making. However, science communication is often framed in a way that can conflict with an audience's own values and perceptions, which can limit the acceptance of messages or information given. So when it comes to informing stakeholders, these social elements need to first be determined or narrowed in order to effectively communicate and create solutions. My research focused on communication strategies for NOAA's Alaska Climate Integrated Modeling Project, ACLIM for short, which is a research project using an integrative framework to assess fishery management strategies. And to guide my research, I asked the questions of what scientific information do stakeholders want to see as it pertains to their values, and what are their preferred methods of communication? To answer these questions, I interviewed stakeholders, which in this context includes fishery management, fishery council, and NOAA affiliates. And I also conducted a literature review focusing on environmental and climate communication methods. From my interviews, I first determined the values that stakeholders hold in relation to ACLIM. First, participants discussed stakeholder involvement as an important component of the project. Since it works directly with stakeholders, this adds more human dimensions. Stakeholders also valued the use of technology and computer models and its implementation to a larger, more impactful cause. And lastly, NOAA affiliates specifically um, valued the collaborative framework, which brings more depth to the work. Next, I looked at the needs of stakeholders. Um, the need for conversation was emphasized by participants as it can create space for more engagement and sharing of knowledge and perspectives. Targeted topics was highlighted since impacts of climate change will not be specific to fishery management. And from NOAA affiliates, communication between scientists could be assessed to ensure an efficient flow information um, among everyone involved. And from these values and needs, I then identified the preferred platforms of communication. Um, collaboration was the most common method mentioned in that participants wanted to see more opportunities for engagement. They mentioned that as part of their values and needs. Diverse multimedia can better distribute information and make it accessible to communities outside of direct contact. And lastly, educational outreach in the form of presentations or workshops can help target research to communities of varying ages and backgrounds. So from these results, key takeaways include prioritizing collaboration, um, which creates more space for decision makers as they assess their management strategies for an uncertain future. And furthermore, identifying the values and assessing social elements of audiences can incite change through enhancing communal connections to the environment and science. From this potential next steps the ACLAM team could implement include expanding the time, frequency, and structure of the current collaborative methods to enhance connection between scientists through engagement, further developing both on and offline tools to target audiences, and engaging partners to understand the interactions between climate change and non-climate stressors as described here in uh, figure three. Thank you so much for listening. Uh, I'd like to give a quick shout out to my site super, supervisor, Kristen Holzman, my faculty advisor, John Meyer, and the ACLIM team for the guidance and support of my research, as well as my friends and family for their encouragement. Thank you.